Your Excellency, I'd like to reiterate the concept of history and how South Africa is actually going down in history for this. It is 100% more important for us to create history now because when we were handed history by our parents who were ethnically cleansed from Palestine, um, as my mum, one of her you know, most vivid memories that she remembers was actually her mum crying bitter tears as she listened to BBC radio during the Six Day War. And as she narrates that story to us, she had realised that there's no going back, that Palestine is no more to them, that they will forever, forever be living in the diaspora. And they had moved countries until they settled finally in London. For us, hearing this as a you know first second third generation in the uk we want to reclaim history and we want to make a better history for our future kids and the icj make that happen even for just going to court regardless of what the decision is but it gives us bravery for the next generation to keep speaking up to be part of law to be part of history in terms of going into parliament, making our voices heard, right? Being involved in the education sector, in the medical sector, speaking proudly, they are, yes, we are Palestinian, and yes, we are in the diaspora, and more importantly, reclaiming that heritage. The ICJ is not just only for us about whether Israel is committing a genocide, clearly it is, for the third generation of TikTok, where they're, you know, they've got the media in the palm of their hands, this is not the question. It paves the way for us to ask more questions. Do we have a homeland to return to? Can we make a new claim about, say, the West Bank? The atrocities that are going on there, right? So for us, this is history in the making. So thank you again.